depreciation. Fixed assets are assets that have a long term life, not easily convertible into cash and involves significant amount of money. They are held with an intention of continuing use for a long time. Hence, they involve a significant cost and a useful life during which asset is expected to contribute to the business. What if we expense this cost in year one? it will not show a true picture of the profit. Why? Because the benefits are spread across a certain period, that is the useful life. Therefore, as per the matching principle, the cost of fixed assets should be allocated over the useful life. This expense is what we call as depreciation. Let's see some examples of assets that should be depreciated. Machinery, building, vehicles, etc. Is there any exception to this? Yes. One exception is land. Land is assumed to have an indefinite life and hence it is not depreciated. In short, depreciation helps to report the correct net book value of a particular asset. As the cost is spread over its useful life, this allows the business to replace the asset with minimum effect on revenue. Depreciation expense also reduces the taxable income and thereby increases the tax savings. Hope you have enjoyed learning with Fin Maestro. Please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button. Also, press the bell icon to get the alerts when new videos are uploaded. Don't hesitate, it's totally free.